Head coach Gary Heenan, I'm going to give away tickets uh, this hour, UC hockey tickets for tonight's game. It's Friday the 13th, and the last time you're going to see the Utica Pioneers play um, until uh, probably for another two or three weeks, right? Until February. Yeah, until Super Bowl weekend. Basically. But don't look now. Uh, UC got off to a huge start and uh, stumbled just a little bit. But listen, back on their feet, or I guess on their blades, and uh, undefeated in the ECAC West. And good morning, Gary Heenan. Hey, guys. How are you? How you doing, man? Happy New Year, okay. by the way. Yeah, Happy New Year. Yep. So big game, uh, big game tonight, and um, uh, really every game from here on out is big, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, we, you know, we we still put ourselves in a pretty good spot with the hot start um, coming off the Oswego tournament, where we we played number one Oswego in the championship and led that after one, was tied after two, and, and just let it get away from us. So we were very close. We're right there. Yeah. We still got some mistakes. We got to clean up in our game. But, uh, you know, we're hoping for an exciting finish. And, uh, yeah, the schedule gets just tougher from here. So uh, the home games are the ones you got to make sure you get, and that, and that starts tonight. Uh, okay, so I, I do have to, to say um, ECAC West, uh, it's, you don't get an automatic berth into the playoffs by winning. So you're, it, winning all the way out is, uh, is important. Your, 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 your record at the end of the, at the, end of the year is, is pretty big. Yeah, yeah. All these non-conference games definitely count. Uh, that's where we faltered. Obviously, we're still undefeated in the league, so we've got to get. Uh, we got two non-league games left. We've got one at home this week, and then we play Potsdam at home next week, Saturday night. So um, it's those two games. You know, those are really must wins to uh, to beef up our uh, our resume non-conference. We had a uh, we had a question on our free money question this morning. Uh, do, does uh, the date November eighteenth? 2001 ring a bell uh that was let me guess i don't know maybe our first home game your first game first, yeah first you're, win you're, first win three yeah. three one love valley uh yeah. Yeah, that's good that's really good uh yeah. the team i mean this program it's hard to believe but it's it's only been around since 2001 and look at how it's consumed the uh, the area yeah, no, it's been good. I mean, uh, obviously, our last game at home, the Teddy Bear Toss, is is the marquee game. You guys play a huge role in that, and and we build momentum off of that. It was an exciting game, and uh, you know the fans are hungry. We take these three weeks off for exams, and you know, proud to say, I mean, uh, just to, to pump our own tires here. The guys again, uh, number one in the department for GPAs first semester. So not only are we getting it done on the ice, but uh, the guys are excelling off the ice. So. Uh, you know, we're proud of where we are, but uh, we'd love to see a, you know, hosting those championships here. It certainly would be a dream come true if we could yeah. uh, get a berth in them. Okay, so, um, and that's big, too. Talk about that. I mean, what a what a huge, huge event coming up for, uh, talk about money being spent in the area and, and yeah, attention here. Yeah, I mean, here. we're going to have, uh, obviously, a minimum of three, three really uh, armies coming in here, not only the hockey teams, but... Uh, Probably 500 fans per club, depending on where they're coming from, at least that. So they'll be flying in from all over the country to play in the championships here in Utica, and the NCAA will kind of take over downtown. And you'll see banners around, and uh, the rink will look completely different because they've got to cover up all the advertising and, and kind of take over that facility. But uh, it's a huge feather in our cap. Uh, these are usually hosted in 10,000 plus venues uh, for seats. So you know, we really want to do uh, roll out the red carpet and do a great job because we think we can get this back every couple, three years. And yeah. and I think it is great for the area, and uh, and it's great for our, our college and our program. And that's not far off. You're talking uh, end of uh, end of March, uh, The what is it, the 20-something? 20 20, yeah. yeah, 24th, I want to say, somewhere okay. in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a little more than a month of regular season play, so a lot of work to be done. But sitting here at 6-0 and right now is big in the ECAC. Uh, preview of tonight's game. Yeah, this is this is a really good hockey club. They actually uh, just beat the U.S. Uh, 18 national team. You guys might remember we beat them a couple years ago, and that was big news. But uh, they got a new coach probably three years ago, um, so they're really they're really coming on right now. Just coming off a win against Bowden is very good. Um, so you know we we've got our work cut out for us tonight. They've got an unbelievable first line, two brothers and a guy in the middle of those guys. And so our our goal tonight is to shut down that first line. If we do that, we should win this hockey game. Um, so uh, it'll be an exciting hockey, and they're fast. We're fast. Uh, you know, the goalies are going to see some pucks tonight with scoring opportunities. Uh, this will be a good one. 
All right, Gary. Uh, and again, uh, really looking forward to. Um, I, I don't think we've ever. I mean, the uh, AHL All Star Game here was was enormous. Uh, when I was in Providence, yeah. the NCAA tournament came to town. When when this stuff happens, there's a buzz in town like you've never experienced before, and uh, and, and we're going to see that at the end of March here with the with the tournament coming here. I mean, that's really really big. Yeah, absolutely, guys, and uh, look forward to uh, you know touching base with you throughout. All right. All right, Gary Heenan, good deal. Thanks so much. All right, take care now.